good, good afternoon. Uh, we are welcoming you in this uh, nice sunny afternoon. I hope that you see the sun over the window. Yes. Uh, we are very happy to meet you. And uh, I will shortly present the, the persons who are with, together with me in the, in the, in the committee. It's Mr. Krzysztof Pietraszkiewicz. Uh, who is an expert in banking in Poland and also is uh, engaged in Polish Science and Economic Forum. Uh, together with me, so, so Katarzyna Rinkiewicz, our Health and Benefit Director and AON, insurance broking firm, and I am the CEO of the AON company. Uh, we are really pleased to see you today. We would like to hear now your presentation. Uh, you have five minutes, and after these five minutes, we will um, ask you a few questions. And um, feel free; the floor is yours. And yes, I, we are very interested to to hear from you. Could I get a second to set up the screen share? Of course. Okay. So just a minute, please. Okay. Can you see my screen now with the presentation? Yes. yes. Lovely. Yes. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alicia Drakowska, and today I will have the absolute pleasure uh, to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I am currently 16 years old, and I am a second grade student at the Clementina Hopunova High School in Warsaw, and I extend chemistry, physics, and mathematics. And in general, I am a person very passionate about science and its popularization, uh, but in a little bit more detail, uh, I am very passionate about marine biology. I love the ocean. I think that it is a very fascinating and unique ecosystem uh, that is unfortunately in danger, so we should try to protect it as much as I can. Uh, out of the many uh, amazing sea animals, my favorite are seabirds, for example, penguins, uh, hence Antarctica. Uh, I I just love everything about Antarctica, really, not just the, the biology, the penguins, but also uh, the logistics of how the research stations function, the technology used there, the history. Uh, in my free time, I also like to speed cube, which is solving Ruby's cubes quickly. Uh, and I am also keen on sound engineering. I so working with speakers, cables, sound consoles. Uh, I do that mainly at school, but also outside of school at, at events. Uh, apart from the usual schoolwork, of course, I engage in many different activities. For example, I have analyzed data for the Department of Antarctic Biology of the Polish Academy of Sciences. Uh, I have been monitoring gentle penguin nests from camera trap photos, and the data will be later used uh, by the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources which is a pretty important institution in the conservation of Antarctica, specifically its, its biology. Uh, so I am very happy to contribute to that, at least in a small way. Uh, I'm also the deputy president of my school's debate club, uh, uh, and I both debate myself, mainly in the Oxford debate format, uh, but I also um, teach other members. Uh, I actively participate in my school's Technic Club Hoftech, uh, we make sure that all school events, so for example, uh, film, theater, and music festivals are well heard and well lit. Uh, and outside of school, I run a speedcubing club called Speedcubers, and for the past two years, I have been teaching my peers uh, how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Uh, some of my goals for the future uh, include researching the Antarctic, specifically penguins, and hopefully contributing to its conservation as much as I can. Uh, popularizing science, sharing my knowledge and passion with others, uh, advocating for minorities in the scientific community so that future generations of scientists have their scientific journey just a little bit easier, and also continuing to engage in cultural and social events, as that is also very important to me. Uh, what would I personally gain uh, from the scholarship, um, from the trip to the Silicon Valley? Well, first of all, experience as meeting, to, uh, meeting some of the world's best scientists and business people, hearing their stories, talking to them, uh, would give me an insight into the scientific field that is, I think, simply impossible to have as a typical 16-year-old. Uh, I would most like to talk about um, neural networks and machine learning with software engineers, for example, from Google. Uh, I would also gain from visiting the Silicon Valley, seeing the culture there, but also meeting uh, the scientists and the fellow scholarship holders. Uh, a different view on, on life, on the work, on science. And that is uh, personally for me a very valuable thing in my development. And also the trip to the Silicon Valley 
uh, would simply be a dream come true to me and uh, it would leave me with many fond memories that would motivate me to further work to achieve my other goals. But as I said, I am a socially engaged person, so not only I would benefit, but also my community, for example, my school. Uh, I am always enthusiastic about sharing the knowledge I gathered. Uh, so I would gladly uh, tell my class uh, everything I learned about the Silicon Valley, for example, on business basics lessons, on IT lessons, uh, and so on. Uh, also, as I said, I am quite an active member of my school's academic and social life. So the cooperation and organizing skills I would gather would benefit all the events that would be organized by me and my peers. Uh, and as such, every person that uh, engages uh, in that event and that is, well, most, most of the school. Uh, and lastly, but not least, motivation, as I think that one of the best ways to stay motivated is to be surrounded by people who are successful. And I could serve as that sort of example and advisor to other ambitious people at my school uh, so that they could work to achieve their dreams just as I can hopefully achieve much. Uh, my... Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect presentation and perfect timing. Um, maybe we will start with some uh, question. Krzysztof, do you have any question for, for our candidate? Please accept uh, uh, congratulations because your presentation was excellent and uh, absolutely uh, as uh, presentation as professor almost uh, from different universities. Uh, but uh, it was very interesting for me because from my first faculty, uh, I'm a geographer and uh, climatologist, and I understand that you see your role in future in protection on, of air uh, and life. And this is very interesting that you have uh, uh, some kinds of special programs for you, uh, special uh, idea how to protect our air and life. Well, first of all, thank you for the congratulations, of course, sir. Um, as I said, uh, well, the, the problem is affecting the whole Earth, but the, the part that is uh, very dear to my heart, so Antarctica, is affected arguably the most, as uh, on the Antarctic Peninsula, the temperature rises about three times faster than everywhere, everywhere else. So I just think that um, as I love that region, I could work there and try to, to try to protect the wildlife uh, and the, the environment there. But well, the Earth is one giant ecosystem, so everything that would benefit the, the Antarctic would also benefit the rest the rest of the world. And I just think that that could, that could be sort of my my part of of um, protecting everything. Thank you, thank you very much. But uh, could you tell me? Uh, your peers, your colleagues from uh, schools and from different uh, bodies also are interested in this kind of uh, activities? In protecting the Earth in general or Antarctica? Generally speaking, oh, okay. around uh, your peers. Well, yes, of course. I uh, Many of my, of my colleagues, of my friends are very, uh, very invested in, in those problems, as I think most people are right now because it's a it's a global problem that affects us all uh, and as such i think we should all engage in in trying to to minimize um the the bad effects uh, and from from my surroundings i i believe that most people are invested yes thank you thank you very much thank you Krzysztof. Uh, kasia do you have any question for Yes, uh, uh, Alicia, first of all, it was really a, ple a pleasure to uh, to hear uh, um, what you do, uh, not only the presentation, as uh, um, Mr. Krzysztof said, but, but what, what you do. And uh, I always also was curious uh, about uh, your, your peers, your colleagues. Uh, 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 I, I know already that they are interested, but I, I, I thought... Uh, uh, how much you can influence uh, them with with uh, what you think, what you want to achieve? Uh, do, do, do you? Uh, um, I don't know. You said that you you have a, a really uh, um, a social life, a big big social life, and uh, uh, you lead debates. How do you influence people to to talk about this uh, and uh, be interested in the subject? Uh, well. 
I think that, um, first of all, what people really like is my enthusiasm enthusiasm when I talk about it. So it's it's for some people uh, or, or most of people really um, interesting to, to hear about it and to hear me talk about it. And uh, I personally think that if I can share the knowledge about the topic that I love and at least one bit of knowledge stays in, in someone's memory, that's already a success. Uh, and well, uh, you mentioned debates. So in the debate community, we are, it's one of the communities that is very, uh, I think invested in, in the problems as well, debates in general, um, broaden your view on the world. So we also debated about ecological issues, uh, for example. So we have the knowledge about that. Uh, and I simply, I, I won't ever try to to tell anyone what to do but i hope that with my enthusiasm and just by making what i'm talking about interesting uh, i can somehow give give people like little tips to to do to to help the penguins definitely i i, I agree yeah thank you and uh, do you know uh, doug, do you know uh, ala any um lab or any professor in Stanford or in Silicon Valley who is uh, uh, interested or who is leading something connected with your uh, penguins or Antarctic uh, Antarctic uh, biology so to whom if you, if you could pick anybody if you could you would like to meet in this this during this trip who it would be for your for your penguin protection and Antarctic protection okay so I, I'm not sure if any, I think that the Antarctic uh, program in the USA is not really based in the Silicon Valley. So I don't think that it would be quite as easy to, to get to know someone who, who works with, uh, with penguins uh, there. But I think that what is very important in the conservation uh, of Antarctica is fast and effective data analysis. And that could be achieved uh, by, for example, neural networks and machine learning. And as I said, I'm quite interested in that. Uh, so um, yes, yeah, so I, I think that maybe not directly connected to penguins, but I could talk to, for example, Dr. Ian Goodfellow, who is the, uh, the founder of, of DeepWind. And DeepMind is now owned by Google, so maybe there's a chance he he'll be in the Silicon Valley, uh, as he is one of the world's uh, le uh, leading researchers and and scientists on on um, machine learning. And while not being directly connected to Antarctica, I think that would be also very helpful in in my later work as also analyzing data. And and where where in the U.S. are these? Just for for the curiosity, where in the U.S. are the experts from these Antarctic studies? If they are not in the Silicon Valley, what do you know in which university is the the most known? Yes, I believe that there. Are, well, first of all, the American program is one of the biggest in the world. So obviously, uh, the the scientists are from many different universities. I think that the most are from uh, the University of California, uh, MIT and some uh, university from New York, but I'm not sure on that. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. My suggestion is that uh, in this region, uh, almost all leading companies in the world, technological companies, are involved deeply in different programs uh, connected with protection of our Earth. And there's a very in interesting place from this point of view. Mm -hmm. All the best, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Alitia, thank you very much for your um, presentation. Well, once again, that it was beautifully prepared. Uh, I really congratulate you together with the committee that you are so high. So you you got to our best talents uh, group, which we are we are uh, search, searching and and discussing. So all the best. Congratulations. And you have very inspiring uh, speech and uh, very, very interesting uh, future. And I think that we need more people who are interested in our Earth future. So thank you very much. And we will inform you about the results in a short time when we will speak with all candidates. All the best, Alicia. Thank you very much. Maybe one last uh, word from me, uh, from my side. I was uh, moved by your essay. Uh, you said that you uh, uh, you admire people uh, like uh, uh, your role model, and they help you to uh, overcome with your uh, struggles. Uh, 
So I just want to say with your um, focus and uh, hard work and enthusiasm, you will overcome everything. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That means a lot. Thank you. Thank you.